Come on, guys. You guys are the same ones. Yeah, again. Uh, can't do it, bud. Pop torch. Boxes. Some bags. Some toothpaste. A banana. Let's see. Yep, that's why you wear gloves, guys. Caps. It's a bunch of junk, so we gave them the time to get out, and thankfully they left. So, we're gonna get her all picked up. We use gloves, of course, and be very careful. Get her done. So, we got it cleaned up. Got the banana in the bags, cardboard, the trash over there, that junk. Good to go. Until next time. Hey, quick tip. Verify the pickup before you arrive, either the day before or a couple hours prior to that day. And if you're going to be late, let them know ahead of time. That way the customer is rest assured that you're coming and that you're still going to be on time. And that way you know that the pickup is still scheduled as time. Good morning, everybody. Cold day today. Hopefully it's going to warm up. It's going to dip down to the 20s and negatives. Wait, no, just down to three degrees that's gonna be pretty cold then it's gonna shoot up to a whopping 39 oh boy so just walking around this morning waiting all nick to show up and get the day started had to get some tires the other day so those are good to go two back there ready to roll so today we're gonna get the truck cleaned out as you can see it's uh it's a little dirty but keep it cleaned out as much as you can for the next pickup for the next thing we're gonna get the cab cleaned out as well almost riding a truck more than i do sit at home and uh so it's our daily office you can get cleaned up in top shape hopefully guys are staying warm wherever you're at whatever you're doing if you're uh cleaning out a garage or if you're outside cleaning or if you're in an attic basement whatever you're doing be careful stay warm drink lots of fluids oh man i am ready for some warmer weather guys curious what are you guys using are you guys using a dump trailer uh flatbed trailer with some sides you know personally i don't know we get out pretty quick compared to the dump trailers but you know the dump trailers have their advantages as far as you can carry more gravel and rock and things like that you can just push it right out if you're doing furniture bulky items couches dressers entertainment centers things like that a flatbed trailer might be your best bet honestly for the price of a dump trailer you could get a uh, two or almost three flatbed trailers get some sides put on that sucker and you're good to go and you know that's just uh each his own and we have the flatbeds right now but as we grow i'm sure we'll get a couple dumps that way we can get more into the the shingles heavier construction items the rock asphalt things like that you know big bulky stuff anyways guys i'm just out here walking around shooting the shit follow along guys hit that subscribe button don't forget to comment below with your guys' tips, advice, your information. Like I said, what are you guys doing? Are you using a dump trailer? Are you guys using a flatbed trailer? If you're not doing junk removal at all, how's your morning going? Hopefully you're having a good day or a good night, good afternoon, whatever time it is right now that you're watching. Click that thumbs up button, guys. Catch up on our older videos. You can just uh, click on other there to the previous video. Click on the profile. Check out our channel. Find us on Google and Facebook, of course. Got a bunch of before and after videos and pictures. Follow along, guys. Good morning, good morning. And go have a little breakfast here. Go get a couple things done. Get the truck finished up. Get some door hangers put up. It's always good for marketing. Uh, Give us a little something to do. Keep us warm. It is cold outside, so we're going to beat the feet, keep walking, and um, get some customer contact. Follow up some people online. And uh, hopefully get some good before and after pictures today. Thanks for watching. Let's go grab some breakfast. Let's get in the truck today. Good morning. Get in the 
truck. Get in the truck. On our way to go pick up a stove, a microwave, and a couple other items. Take a look at what the guy has. Try to get you a couple before and after pictures and video, of course. So we're on our way. We're going to be there in about ooh, 20 minutes or so. 20, 20 minutes. I don't have a watch. I just looked down because that's a habit. So follow along, guys. Hit that subscribe button. We're going to go get a stove and a couple other missed metal debris items. In a quarter mile, use the right lane to merge onto East Cinnamon Avenue. We're going to pick up a stove. The guy says it's a heavy stove. About 500 pounds. Watch as we get this big old stove. Pulling up to the stove pickup. Here we are. Sometimes people get a little nervous when I pull out the camera. Doesn't take very long. All right, we just got the stove pickup done. Another haul away complete. Stove out of there. Here's the thing guys, it's the mind over matter, and the only mind that really matters is yours. Food for thought.